in this example we can see that uh, we have uh, one two three four five suppliers uh, offering uh, trade credit uh, that means uh, they will sell um, their supplies or inventory whatever uh, on credit uh, so the terms include several items uh, one is you know the standard form uh, so uh, for, for example if we look at the first one uh, the term is if you um, pay within five days then you will get 2.5 percent discount uh, and if you sacrifice the discount that means if you give up the discount then you will have to pay within 30 days and the last portion eom means that all the days will be counted from the end of the month so uh, and also we have another alternative which is the bank loan uh, what you can do you can sec you can um, uh, you can take the discount from the supplier and if you take the discount from the supplier that means for uh, supplier a if you uh, take the discount uh, uh, of 2.5 percent by uh, making the payment within five days uh, in that case you will not be able to utilize the fund uh, for another 25 days to make it 30 days in total so in that case what you can do you have the alternative to take loan from the bank for that 25 days at 9 percent rate so what we need to do we need to compare the uh, bank loan cost with the cost of uh, the costly trade credit from each of the supplier and have to make decision whether that one is better uh, than the bank loan or not or whether the bank loan is better than that or not so what decision we will make is we will uh, decide whether we will take the discount or we will give up the discount and go for the bank loan that is the decision so let's see how we can do that in excel so the thing is we should start with uh, extracting the information like discount rate credit period discount period from the credit term and for that purpose we can use several text functions and uh, to make it possible we had to follow a standard format for uh, in uh, for inputting the credit terms for example you can see instead of typing 2.5 i have to type 2.50 uh, so why because maybe for another supplier the rate can be uh, 1.35 or something like that okay uh, and not not only that uh, for the discount period instead of typing only 5 I have typed 005 because who knows maybe for one supplier the date can be more than 100 so in that case uh, we need uh, three digits so if you do not have all the things standardized uh, you won't be able to uh, solve the problem in Excel flawlessly this is the reason uh, why we are uh, we are uh, having the input in this manner so let's find the discount rate so the discount rate is at the beginning so what function we can use is the text function one of the text functions which is called left left okay left then we are referring which from which text will extract the value uh, number of uh, certain number of characters from the left so we are going to take it from here and we need how many characters one two three four point is also a character so two point five zero so four characters so type four then wrap it close you can see we have got it okay now credit period so in that case because the credit period is not in the left it is rather in the middle of the text so we have to use the function called mid then refer the text starting number where should the uh, uh, character start from so if we count it will be one two three four five six it should start from the sixth character and number of character is three because we have used three digits okay so you can see zero zero five is the credit period sorry the credit period is not actually zero zero five uh, it is the discount period so for getting the credit period we have to go further so it will start from um, uh, if it is 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 okay so it will be 15 so the uh, credit period starts in the 15th character remember space is also a character hmm. and if we have any mistake we can correct it no problem yeah it is correct no problem so now 
the discount period i have already shown that let me do it again it will be this text comma starting number will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 So it is the discount period five days that is fine now we will calculate the cost of trade credit you know that the cost of trade credit has two elements one is the cost for the duration of the uh, trade credit costly trade credit and another portion will be the annualization factor so for the first part it will be you know it will be uh, cash discount percentage uh, that is this one okay divided by within bracket 100 minus this one again so it is done now the later part will be because we have 365 days in a year divided by credit period minus discount period that should be within bracket so credit period minus discount period bracket close okay uh, no, no. Okay, what's the problem here? No, it's fine. Let me check where is the problem first. C4 divided by C4 is 2.50 divided by 100 minus C4, that's fine. Oh, okay. We need a bracket here because the denominator itself has a bracket. Okay. And then 365 divided by, okay, I think now it's okay. So we have got 37.44%. Now cost of the loan is the same thing for each comparison. So we will lock it using the dollar sign. So that when we copy the formula down, it will not change. It should not change. So it is 9%. Now what will be the decision? Decision will be equals. We will use the if argument. If. Uh, if that cost of trade credit is greater than the cost of loan then our decision is a text so it should be within the quotation mark so our decision will be give up the discount why because uh, we can give up the discount and take the bank loan at a cheaper rate okay so give up the discount uh, and and if the value is false then we can say that mm, yeah uh, no no sorry it should be take the discount why because if the uh, cost of trade credit is higher that means you should not go for go until the credit period rather you should pay it within the shortest possible time and take the decision and if it is false then give up the discount bracket close okay so this is how we will make the decision now we don't have to do this again and again we just copy it down and we can see that all are done okay, let me check for d uh, the credit uh, discounted is 3.4 percent if it is paid within 25 days otherwise you have to pay by 120 days the cost is 13.52 percent which is greater than the bank rate bank loan rate so uh, uh, so better to go for the bank loan and take the discount and pay earliest possible time that is within 25 days but for b you can see the cost is 6.55 percent which is lower than the bank uh, rate of short term loan therefore uh, uh, you can go for supplier b instead of taking bank loan okay for so in case of b what you will do you will not pay within 22 days to get the 0.5 percent discount rather you will pay in 50 days and sacrifice the discount and that will be even better than the bank loan at nine percent this is how you can actually make the uh, sh uh, short term financing decision that means comparing uh, between the bank rate and uh, comparing between the short term bank loan and also the uh, trade credit costly portion of the uh, trade credit uh, i hope that you have understood thank you very much